Okay, going to do a quick review on the Henry U.S. Survival Rifle, also known as the AR-7. Um, it's a semi-automatic, 22 long rifle. It comes with two eight-round magazines, um, which I don't. That's I think that's the one thing I don't like about it is it's only eight rounds. But you can buy um, longer magazines for it or extended mags, I guess you'd call them. Um, it is 35 inches when assembled, 16.5 inches when stowed, and I'll show you all about the stowing. Um, the stock is made of ABS plastic. It is. Um, it has adjustable rear sights and a fixed front blade sight. The re. Um, the it's Teflon coated, the receiver, and it's coated steel barrel. Okay. The MSRP on this is about $275, but they can be had any day of the week, even now, for right around $229 at Academy and even cheaper some places, eh, if you do a little negotiating. just kind of depends. Um, and that's for the black. If you go with the camo, you're going to be looking a little more expensive. Um, MSRP is like $339.95 or something like that, so again, probably going to find it cheaper than that. That's, you know, by Henry's prices. Okay, let's look at this thing. I mean, I have seen these and a friend of mine has one, but until you fired one, you just don't know. Okay, so there is where everything stows. I mean, how amazing is that? Um, you have your receiver, your barrel and two magazines okay all stows right there in the butt now I know what you're saying oh yeah it stows and all that good stuff but how accurate is it well you're about to find out um, this little puppy is really accurate um, one of the things I had worried about because of the fact that you know you have to put it together I thought yeah this thing won't be very accurate because if you have to put it together, so you just simply put the receiver in here. Okay. And then right here, you just tighten it on up. Hope you can see that. And you'll feel when it's tightened. Okay. All right. There we go. Now, how easy is that? Okay, so then you'll see, whoops, on the stock there's a little notch to line it up. So you put it in there and then you turn it and there's a notch. Once that clicks in, then you're ready to lock in. Okay, so then you just tighten it, okay? Let me make sure. Yeah, then you just tighten it, okay? And you're going to tighten it until it just don't tighten anymore. That's pretty simple, right? Okay. See, and this is what concerned me because I thought, well, how accurate could it be with a front sight that, you know, with a removable barrel like that? Well, let me tell you what, because the way they notched it, it keeps that front sight perfectly lined up. So, um, if you look, it's great. So, and it's got that nice blaze orange front sight on there, so it makes it real easy to line up in the little rear sight there. Now, on this side, you'll see the slide. You simply just pull it out, and it stows in, so everything is real simple and easy to work on this. Pulls out. Um, safety is right here. Back on safe. Forward for off. So real easy to do it. It takes, you know, couldn't reach anything easier than that, okay? Um, magazines, again, eight rounds. A little bit of a downside, but you know, again, you can get a bunch of them. You can store one in there, two in the butt. That gives you 24 rounds right there. Um, and speaking of magazines, it's got a, the magazine release is right here. So, when you put the magazine in, and 
there you go. And it doesn't just fall out, believe me, um, accidentally. I have not, because you really have to get it all the way, if you'll see there, you have to really give it, push it all the way to get it. And it was pretty stiff at first, but um, I did it over and over and over and got it kind of loosened up now. So, um, you can see that's pretty amazing just the way it stows, right? Now, the thing is, is how accurate is it? Well, I took it out to the range the other day when I was taking my little Ruger SR22 out to give it a try and it is amazingly accurate. We were shooting some steel with it just so we could hear it go plink, plink, plink. And I just kept moving a little bit further back and a little bit further back and I wasn't even making a real effort to aim it. I mean, and it just consistently went plink, 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 plink. So it was great. Um, target shooting had nice good groups even it you know even when you were when you're talking like 75 feet it was still talking you know you were talking nice groups decent groups and I mean amazing so it was rainy that day caliche everywhere I wasn't worried about it because you know the Teflon coating and with the ABS plastic I knew I wouldn't have to worry about you know getting my fancy stock all dirty or anything so this is a perfect addition to um, your backpack when you go camping. Um, if you're just small varmint hunting, it's, it's great for anything like that. Um, and again, it breaks down just as easily as it went together. Simply loosen up the barrel just like you tightened it up. So, you know, breaking this thing down to clean it, as you can see, is not an issue okay uh, it breaks down really really easy okay so again it oh and another nice thing is you see it's got a rail on it so you can quickly you know put on when you get out in the field and get it put together you can quickly put on you know your sight or whatever you want to put on there you can stick a light on there if that's what you want to do but it gives you options anyway Okay, so we'll put it on safe and magazines removed and so we're all clear. So I'm just going to simply take it apart. Same way it went together, it comes apart. I just unscrew this. And so it is weatherproof. Um, there are people that have taken theirs and thrown them into the water and whatnot. Honestly, I haven't done that yet, but will I? I probably will. Okay, so stowing it, you couldn't get any easier. There you go. Stowed, one piece, barrel, front sight, everything. I hope you can see this. Everything has grooves, so there's no way to accidentally put something in wrong. Even the magazines. There's slots right here on the magazine. So that tells you that that's the way it goes in. Okay. And that's it. Backside goes back on. And you're ready to go. So I've got some video out at the range using it take a look at it and I'd have to say I am pleased with the Henry US survival rifle aka the AR7 so suddenly when you need me now I do good video huh Are you <laughs> where's the mic